Hello everyone, I went ahead and installed iOS 16.2, the beta, on the iPhone 10. So I wanted to take a look at basically what the new features are and basically when, if, when it comes out, if you should go and install it. First of all, do not install any beta on your phone. It's never worth it and it's usually going to be giving you a really, really bad experience. But so far it's been pretty decent. I've had it installed, I installed it last night. Luckily no bricks or nothing breaking luckily, which was always a really good sign. But as you can see, first things first, the main update was about, I think, four point something gigabytes. I mean, it was massive. If we go and click here, if we go and click here, 4.62 gigabytes. So massive coming from, I believe, iOS 15 at the time. So if you're coming from iOS 15, it's definitely going to be a big size beta. It's probably going to be an even bigger size, you know, official update when it officially comes out. The first thing that we actually do get, though, is this new freeform application. So this is pretty much a cross-platform way of collaboration, as you can see. So it's, you know, get creative, build your board, and collaborate with others. So I think it's a really cool thing. Again, I'm, I don't know if I'm ever pretty much ever going to use it, but it's a really nice thing if you're wanting to go and collaborate with people and you're wanting to kind of like whiteboard things out and you want people to be added here, well, you can go and utilize this application. And I do think it's a really nice touch that they actually went ahead and added. Now, another thing we got is actually a new home app architecture. So within certain iOS versions. Now, another thing that they actually ended up fixing with this was actually unintentional SOS calls. So it seemed like there were a lot of, you know, accidental SOS calls. So sometimes if you hold the side, not like that, but if you go and hold like this, you can go and accidentally, I guess, utilize emergency SOS call here. So it looks like that is now going to be kind of addressed here, which is actually very interesting. So again, we're going to go ahead and see how that's going to be affected. And we're pretty much going to go ahead and go from there. Now it looks like they also made a little bit of a tweak on the software update panel. So if we go and click here, if we go and make our way over, it's going out of here. If we go and make our way over to general, if we go and click on software update, they said, so it looks like now the, the software version you were on is now bolded. So that is actually a really, really nice touch. I think that is really cool and I do like having that like that. And I think that looks way better than having it basically how it's been before you have to like squint at it. I do wonder if they changed it here too. So no, they kept it here basically the same way, but they did go ahead and add it here and change it up here a little bit, which actually looks really nice. So I'm really happy they ended up doing that as well. Now it looks like they also added a new widget for our lock screen. So this specific widget is the sleep widget, which is very interesting. So if we go and add a new wallpaper, if I go and choose this one, we can see that we should have a new sleep widget wherever this one is. So there we go, we do have it. So that is really nice. So you can go and choose this widget if you want to, and you can go ahead and utilize it whichever way you want. So that's another really cool thing that we have going here as well. So there's a lot of other things that have been added as well, but I will tell you when the time comes, you know, definitely consider updating it. But as of right now, I would not recommend installing this version of software yet. It's going to be full of bugs. It's going to have lots of issues. So just wait out. If you can wait out just like another couple weeks, whenever this thing officially comes out, install it. Otherwise, I think it's a worthwhile change for sure. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.